Hi everyone! Today I'm very excited. I've received this lovely book from um, one of my um, YouTube subscribers. So thank you so much to them. Um, it was Francis. So thank you Francis for sending me this lovely book. Now Imagimorphia is by Kirby Rosans. Now this is a book that I have looked at in the past. I've been very daunted by. I felt that I wasn't um, at the right stage for colouring it. However, I've now got a copy, so I'm going to have to dive in and have a go. So that's really exciting. Something very different. Obviously, I love the fact that we've got this fantastic realism in this pit and then a whole sort of doodly cartoony side as well. It's really different. So I'm going to do a flip through today and, uh, and then I will do some um, tutorials from it at some point. So uh, oh, I've got a bit of paper inside, we don't need to see that. Okay, so here is the first page. We've got this lovely um, tiger, leopard, not sure, with all these little critters all around. And we have got Illustrated by Kirby Rizan there. And now this book belongs to page with all sorts of different things going along on around there. And these are the sort of title pages and it says get ready for an imaginative colouring adventure. I'm not going to read you it all but basically it says there are objects scattered through and in the back there's a list and you're supposed to find them all through the books. There's a little treasure hunt aspect which is pretty good fun. I mean look at that, it's so funny, so much fun. So on to our first picture and we have this um, double swan picture so although these two are a mirror image almost you can see the crowns are different and then all the detailing is different on the two different swans we've got lovely castle and fish different underwater type critters and things like that and here we have a luscious elephant now i do love elephants i'm a big fan so i think that may be one that i'll have to have a go at i think it's uh, very pretty and i what i find interesting it's got a sort of cogs and um, electronic-y type things here. But down here we've got animals and things. That's really interesting. And then we've got a more Egyptian one. Has got a very scary looking snake. I'm very, don't like snakes, I'm afraid. I know some people love them. They're not for me. So I'm gonna have to really um, pull myself together to come on that page. And here we have a lovely train with all sorts of things going on in the smoke. And this one I really like as well, because you've got the butterfly and you've got all these um, sort of mechanical bits and bobs going on. But there are a few little interesting things. So you've got an umbrella here and you've got a carriage clock. And I had an idea for this page, and I'll share it with you now, is to sort of do it all in, in either bronze, silver or gold, you know, like metallic -y colours. But then maybe do this one really bright so it stands out and it's different to the rest of the page. I don't know. That was just my initial thought when I saw this page. As you can tell, I have already done a little bit of a flip through just because I was so curious because I've not had this book or seen this book before. So we have a lovely, lovely panda here with all sorts of bits and pieces here. Another scary snake though. <gasps> and but a dragon. I'm not scared of dragons. Okay, that's fun. And this lovely bird, and it's all full of butterflies. I think that's very pretty very interesting as well and then we have these two skulls and I know some people aren't fans of skulls but actually this one we've got all the sort of mechanical bits and pieces but this one got lots of flowers I think it could be made to look like a pretty sugar skull maybe you know there are there is a way to make it look less sort of scary and we have an interesting ship page we have all these fish but we also have bits and pieces going on in the sea which is quite fun so we've got all these wave details as well sorry i can't i'm incapable of turning the page this morning and the gorilla now he's fun and we've got the sort of new yorky skyline i guess he's like king kong i'm guessing i don't really know so it's mainly buildings but we've got a few little critters here and there it's quite a fun one to do and here we have an underwater scene with these lovely um, penguins and uh, within our waves we have all sorts of little critters, mainly fish I think. 
And here we have double pineapples, which is quite fun. So, you know, you've got your bottom part and your sort of spines, but all made up of, of sort of jungle critters and plants and things, which is great fun. And spiders. Now, I know some people are not big fans of spiders. For me, they're okay. I'm not too bothered by them. So uh, that will be okay to do. And here we have some really pretty, you think about the colours you could put into these balloons and then these bits are sort of like the foliage underneath and you could keep it all green or you could pick out some of the birds and different things in different colours. That's quite a fun one to do. Now we have, these are beetles. I think. I did think they were bees to start with until I looked at this bit. They're beetles. And we've got all this sort of mechanical details inside them again, which I think is really interesting. And I think those will be quite fun to do. And look at this lovely tree. But in this tree we've got fish, um, jellyfish, all sorts of fish. So it's a very sort of underwatery tree, which is interesting. Now with this one, look, we have these very detailed antlers on these these but this one is all plain so I think the idea is that you can fill in your own details if you want to I'm not confident in doing that very much so you know I might do something a little bit different I mean look at this has got a bow incorporated into it which is really interesting so uh, that's a lot of fun right, now we have a couple of castles but around the castles we have all sorts of different things going on so that's quite fun and here we have mushrooms and rabbits, or hares, I'm thinking hares, big long ears. So this is quite fun, because you could do all the hares the same, all the mushrooms the same, and all the foliage the same, to keep it really simple. Or you could keep the hares the same, do the mushrooms all different colours, keep the foliage the same, do the hares different shades of browns and greys. I don't really know what colour hares are, but uh, you know, there's a lot of scope with that. And there aren't too many little details in there, so I think that could be a less daunting one. And we have these airships. Again, we have the sort of bits of detail, but there's a lot of um, less going on in this picture. So I think this is one that would be a bit easier to tackle. And here we have an underwater scene. This is quite fun. I've got a lot of coral and critters down here and fish and things. And that's a fun one. Look, he's got a key in his mouth. And we have the, the idea of this one is to fill in the stripes with the intricate patterns, it says. But obviously, you don't have to do that. You can just colour them in. You know, it's completely up to you. The lovely crane here. I love this um, crested crane. He's very... And within the crane, all the little bits and bobs are sort of gemstones and, well, jewellery, crowns and things. So I think that looks like a lot of fun to do. And here we just have a few... I mean, I, don't, I can't work out what these are. I think they are just a mechanical robotic thing. I'm not really sure. It looks like there's a head. I'm not sure. And it looks like it might be running. So, yeah. And here we have an anchor. And wrapped around the anchor, we have all sorts of sea critters and bits and bobs. So that's quite fun. And I like this compass. It's really pretty. And uh, we've got all flowers and um, butterflies and dragonflies or um, damselflies and things like that. And here we have a cage with birds coming out. But there are other bits and pieces in time. We've got a rose and a cupcake and a lolly, different things. And I'm not sure what that is. And here we have a double jellyfish. And under the jellyfish are all sorts of flowers. That's very pretty. We have a dinosaur here. And within the back, we have all sorts of prehistoric creatures. And horses and carriage. And they look like they're on a cloud being pulled, maybe through the sky. And uh, all sorts of little bits and bobs there too as well. And it has a little driver. And here is, I think that's the one... One from the beginning, is it? Yeah. So here he is in full. Now a lot of these are double pages, which can make them a little daunting, but you could always just do half. Just do the whole thing all in one go. We have skyscrapers and mountains with waterfalls coming through. It's a very interesting picture. 
and a lovely camel. He's gorgeous. And look, there's an elephant. I like elephants. And we have cacti, a genie coming out of a bottle. Lots of fun here. And again, not too many little details. You know, the camel itself is quite big. So you could do a base of pastel and then just shade in a few areas, keep it quite simple. Okay. Now, what do we have here? We have a flower. I don't know if this is like a, um, a chrysalis, from, you know, a, a pupa or something from a butterfly and coming out. It, all these amazing little things. Lots and lots going on there. Look at this. It's like water something disappearing into the water with a long tail and i can't quite make out what it's supposed to be but i think it's lots of very pretty splashes and things going on and i like this owl i've seen this done in exactly the way i would probably do it which would be to do this half in sort of brown and then this half in silver and sort of have the contrast of the two sides I think it's quite fun. And here we have a clock, like a cuckoo clock. It's got a little owl in, so it's an owl clock. <laughs> we have feathers and leaves, and we have this lovely bird here, thing, so that's fun. And here we have another clock. It's quite similar. We still have our owl in there, and we have all sorts of balloons and things like that on it. Now here we have, um, these are a sea critters. I can't remember what they're called these sort of rounded um, things with their tentacles and we have they have a building on them that's fun Oops. and these are all musical instruments so that's really fun for anyone that loves music it's a great fun one to do isn't it lovely now this page is probably where I will get started for me this looks like a good simple place to start I can cope with a snail and a house you know, I think that might be where I go. Though I told my sister, she went, oh no, snails have been eating all my plants in my garden. But uh, they have in mine too, but I don't mind snails. Now this page we have feathers where the idea is to pop your own doodles inside, but you could just colour them, put some lines in and make them look very feathery. But if you're a doodler, that is a good thing to do. And we have a lovely wolf here. And we've got a sort of wishing well here for all sorts of different bits and pieces. And our bird. This is an eagle, I think. He's beautiful, isn't he? He's the one from the front, I think. And a lovely horse. And the mane is all made out of flowers and leaves. There are a few little critters and surprises in there as well. Very, very pretty. And here it tells us what we're looking for in the in the sort of search and it suggests you colour them in as you find them. I found quite a few of those already. I found the elephant and the crown. I found a, uh, what else did I find? I found this guy, I found this guy. We found the genie and the bow, didn't we? So, uh, and uh, I found the carriage clock. So a few bits and bobs, and it tells you the answers here. I'm gonna skip through those pages quickly. And I don't want to, I want to have a go myself. And there's the end. There we go. So that's that one. So that's really interesting. As I say, it's not a book I would have bought, but looking through, I can see where I can go with it and where I can have lots of fun with it. So that's really interesting. So thank you so much to Francis for sending me this book. Um, and I really look forward to having a go and sharing some of my, um, sharing um, some tutorials with you from it. So uh, thank you for watching and happy colouring.